In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export After Effects text layers into an SRT file. Now this will probably be my only tutorial and I'm only doing this because I couldn't find anything related yet. My problem here was that I had written all of my subtitles already in After Effects, but I wanted to upload my film to YouTube and also be able to show or hide the subtitles, or even change the language. The first thing you need is a script file called Subtitle Export. I have found this file after a long research on the web and it was written by somebody who encountered the same problems. I will credit him in the description and also put the link there, so you can either download this file from the original website or here. After you downloaded the file, you have to copy it and go into the After Effects folder. Under Support Files there is a folder called Scripts and in the Scripts folder there is another folder called Script UI Panels. That is the place where we will paste our file into. Our subtitle export script should now be visible under the window panel. The next step is very easy, because all you have to do is to select all of your text layers, then click on Window, Subtitle Export. The script will automatically create a TXT file that we will have to name first. The last thing to do now is to rename the txt file into a .srt file, and you are pretty much done. Now I will talk about another problem that I was encountering. Because the film I made on my own is almost 80 minutes long, and that is why I separated it into 5 chapters. The subtitles I just exported were from chapter 4, and because chapter 4 actually starts around 40 minutes later than the subtitles here, we can use another tool to give them a 40 minute delay. Subtitle Workshop is a free and very useful tool to edit subtitles. But there's a problem with our original export script. If there's more than one zero after a comma, it will simply leave them out. Subtitle Workshop does not recognize subtitles that don't have three digits after the comma, so we have to use our text editor here and simply add them. Now, that was a little annoying, but it's nothing compared to the time we would have spent if we wrote all of these subtitles again. Now we can save this file and import it into Subtitle Workshop. Here we can go to Edit, Timings, Set Delay. In this window we simply type 40 minutes and set the delay for all the subtitles. Don't worry about the red frames here. That is because the time that the last subtitle disappeared is exactly the same as the new subtitle that appears. So you can usually just ignore them and there shouldn't be a problem. After we are done with that, the last step is to save our new subtitle file. So we go to Save As and choose the subrip format, which is the most common one. And now everything is done. I hope this video could help you, and thanks for watching.